What is going on guys, my name is James, or thanks see ya, and welcome to another Minecraft mod installation tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to install Astrocraft, and as you can see from the background, we are going to be installing this on a Mac. However, wherever possible, I will try and advise you PC guys as best I can. So this is what the Astrocraft forum page looks like, and this will be linked down in the description if you want to install the mod. So, if we scroll down past some of the videos, we will find the download section, and there are quite a few things that we are going to need in order to get this mod to work. So the first thing we are going to need is a copy of the actual mod files. So the latest version here is version 1.1, so if we click that it will open up a download link, download that and stick that on your desktop for convenience. Okay, so after we have that, we are going to need both Mod Loader and Dimension API. So the Mod Loader page, when clicked, will look a bit like this. And when you scroll past the FAQ section, you will find the Mod Loader 1.2.5. So download that and stick it on your desktop. And also you are going to need the Dimension API. So this is what this page will look like. Scroll down past some of the information. And we are going to need to download this here, which is the client slash single player version. And we don't need the Forge version, we just need the normal one. So once you have these two, stick them on your desktop as well for convenience. Now, there is one common bug with this mod, and it is that some players, when they have installed it, will not be able to see the world underneath them when they go to the space realm. So there are a couple of fixes you can do. Uh, the one that I recommend is also downloading Optifine. So it says here, try installing Optifine or MC Patcher to fix this issue. I personally installed Optifine and it fixed. So if you type Optifine into Google, you'll find this page here. And I personally recommend Optifine HD for the smooth. So when you've downloaded everything, you should have a copy of Astrocraft. You'll have a copy of Dimension API. You will have a copy of Optifine and you'll have a copy of Mod Loader. So I'm going to install this on a fresh Minecraft client and I highly recommend that you do this. However, if you're going to install it onto your current Minecraft client, then please back it up. Otherwise, you might risk losing your current world saves. So the way to get into the Minecraft folder for the Mac is you go into applications, you go open in Finder, you go to your name, you go to your library, you go to application support, and then you go into your Minecraft folder. And if you're on a PC, this is found in your app data slash roaming. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to open the bin and we are going to open up the minecraft.jar. And we do that by right clicking, going to open with, and I'm going to use a program called Springy. And this is an archive tool that I find really useful as I'm someone who frequently uses a lot of Minecraft mods. If you don't have Springy, you can use Archive Utility, or you can rename the minecraft.jar, minecraft.zip, and it will open that way. If you're on a PC, you can use WinRAR. Okay, so we're going to open it up like so. And the first thing we are going to install is the mod loader. So very simple, we're going to unzip mod loader, we're going to get into the folder, and then once we're in the folder, we're going to drag every file in there straight into the minecraft.jar. We're going to click on add, it's going to ask us if we want to overwrite certain things, and we're just going to click on yes. Okay, so that's it for the mod loader. The next one we are going to use is the dimension API. So unzip, unzip it, and then go into the folder, and then locate all of these class files. Once again, drag everything and then just stick it in the minecraft.jar. There we go. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go into the Astrocraft folder. And now if we... Oh, let me just get rid of that because that's the one I previously did. So, um, there we go. This is the fresh Astrocraft folder. So when we've got that, now we're going to open it up. And we are going to install the armor folder manually. So we're going to search A and we're going to roll down in the minecraft.jar. And then when we get to the armor folder, which should be there, we're going to open that up. And then we're going to open up the armor folder in our Astrocraft folder. And we're going to drag the spacesuit into the actual folder itself in the Minecraft.jar. So once that's done, we're going to go back. And I'm just going to delete the armor folder from the Astrocraft. And then once that is deleted, once again, just drag everything you see and then drag it into the Minecraft.jar. But also a quick tip, be very, very careful when you are doing this that you're not dragging all of the files into a certain folder, otherwise it will not work. Okay, so finally the last thing we're going to do is open up the Optifine and then we are going to once again drag them all into the Minecraft.jar. So select all of those and drag them in. It's going to ask us if we want to replace stuff, click on Apply to All and yes. 
Okay, so the most important thing once we have down, put all of these four things in is we're going to go down to the Meta slash INF or the Meta dash INF folder, I should say. Right click it and delete. So if we don't delete it, the mod won't work. So just to recap, we are going to put the mod loader in first and then the Dimension API and then the Astrocraft, then the Optifine and then delete the Meta INF. Okay, so that is it for the mod installation. Now, if we log in just to prove it has worked, there we go. I'm going to make this bigger so everyone can see. Notice we haven't got a black screen, which is a good start. And then if we go into, uh, let's go into creative mode quickly. There we go. We are going to have a look to see if all of the items and stuff have been added. So you'll see that Optifine has been loaded. Now we're going to grab some iron and we're going to grab a flint and steel. And we're just going to quickly make a portal just to prove it. Oops. Get rid of you. So one, two, one, oops. Um, and then one on the top. And then we're going to light this. There we go. And then there you go. So it's proof that the mod has installed successfully and with the help of the Optifine mod, we can actually see the world beneath us. So yeah, I hope this installation tutorial has helped. I hope you can get this mod working and I hope that if you do play on it, you have a good time with it. See so yeah, as always guys, it's been a pleasure. Thanks and see ya.